Today I'm going to show you how to make a server chat, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so to make this we want to go to starter player and add in, or oh, under starter player, sorry, we need to open up our starter player scripts. We're going to add in a local script, which means it's going to run on the client, and I'm just going to rename it to say chat handler. So what needs to happen in this script is we need to have a chat function, which is where it will send a message. We need to have a table of the messages it can actually send. And then what we want to do is it wait every random amount of seconds we want to send a message. So let's say local function to create a function, which we will call uh, chat. And in here, we're going to need a message to pass in. Now in here, we want to say game.startergui, colon, set core. So after we said set core, we want to say chat make system message. Now make sure you spell it exactly like this, chat make system message. This is the string you need to be able to create messages. A comma and open up a new table inside this set core. And we need to set text equal to message. So the mess basically what we're saying here is we're going to um, make a message here, make a system message, and we're going to set the text equal to the message. So the text that we're setting sending is the message that we're passing in here. Comma, color, with a capital C, equals color free dot from RGB, and this is going to be the color of the text. So I might make it a nice yellow color, like that. Comma again, font equals enum dot font dot source sans bold. This can be any font you'd like, but source sans bold is quite a nice font in my opinion. And that's it for the chat function. So it should look something like this. Okay, next we're going to say local messages equals and a table. And this is going to be our table of messages. So we will have server. I'm going to put server in square brackets to, just to show that it's a server message. So it looked like the server is sending it. Server, make sure to leave a like or something like that. Make sure to leave a like. Uh, and then a comma. Uh, clo close quote quotation marks. Comma. And then I might have one saying server. Subscribe to Drupal Studios on YouTube. And things like that, and just things like that, you can have however many messages you want and whatever messages you want. Now we need to actually um, uh, receive or uh, write these messages every X amount of time. So let's say while true do, we're going to want to wait a random amount of time. So let's say math dot random, and let's go between maybe A and B. So let's let A B every for uh, every 15 seconds now this is just for testing purposes i'm gonna do it every 15 and 45 seconds just for testing purposes in an actual game you might want to make this between every two minutes and every 10 minutes because it can be very annoying so yeah i wouldn't have it this often anyway after we've waited a random amount of time we're going to send a chat so we're going to call our chat function and we're going to pass in the messages table that we've made. And we want a random uh, index from this messages table between uh, so math.random. And we want a, any index between one and the number of messages. So once we've got that, if we now hit test and play, you will see we just got to wait some time and keep an eye on the chat. And there we are, it's now popped up saying server, subscribe to Drupal Studios on YouTube. Now we'll keep waiting, see if we get any more. There we are, subscribe to Drupal on YouTube, as I say, it's completely random. There we are, make sure to leave a like. And so on, you see it loops through them. Every random amount of time, it will loop through them and print it to the server, like a server chat. And that's all I needed to show you today, so I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.